since we are going on a lengthy journey through uninhabited wilderness, and unfortunately my fellow Mac guys and stagecoach were obliterated a while ago, should we not pack some supplies for ourselves? We should indeed. How lengthy is the journey exactly? The Earldom of Lisa is roughly 1350 kilometers by track from the Empire, I believe. How lengthy? A human can walk about 5 kilometers in an Earth hour, for maxi hours, that is probably around 5 and a half kilometers. If we assume that half the day, or 16 hours is spent just walking, then we will need 21 days of supplies to get there and 21 to return, the carving may be even farther away, we should allow at least 6 days for the return journey, therefore we should get around 50 days of supplies, maybe a bit more for caution's sake. There are 3 humans so we need around 450 meals and 300 liters of water. A stove and tent each is also needed. We should also bring plenty of battery power for phones and other devices and lights to help us see at night. I have a hiding place close to Falkirk which is my own supplies I stole from the PC guys a while ago. It has a barrel of clean water, a chest and cart to carry tat around in and enough canvas to set up a camp. It is located there so if the Falkirk portal was stuck on red and I ended up locked on earth with nowhere to go I would have enough to survive for days without getting spotted. It does not however have any food, right? I left food out so it would not go moldy you fool. There is also no stoves, fuel, lighting or power. We should buy that from Fockark whilst you get your tot. Agreed, myself. Strange Lion and Bulktony will go to my secret spot and obtain the supplies I have hidden. I doubt the town of Falkirk wants to see an alien and two lions. Dillus, Ananamus and Pesemafuza you should go to Tescoa and purchase enough food for the journey as well as any camping supplies you feel necessary. Meet on this side of the portal. Here it is. The tat still remains here. What is in all this stuff? The barrel is full of water. The chest contains enough canvases and rope for tents for us all to sleep and the cart is empty. But it will be refilled when the others meet up with us. The supplies appear to be in a foolish condition. There is a repairing kit that we can use in it. The problem is how we get this tat back to Maxi. Hello me. Where are the rest of the fools? I do not know. Mac got 3135 kept the location of those supplies secret. A good idea I think, so no one will take that. Who would want a barrel and some other tot like that? Some people can be desperate. Excellent we have both obtained the required supplies. What a destroyed pile of items. I shall assemble all of this stuff. Anonymous, load the food and canvases into the cart when I am done. Persemafuser please strap the chest to Dillis's back and fill it with stoves, fuel and batteries. Bulktony can you load the barrel of water onto the set of wheels when I am done putting them back together.
Here it is. Loopback path. Our shortcut to Souther Earldom Trek. The pathway south of the empire that went to the furthest Mac Earldoms. It starts at the Gorge of Eternal Peril, which should not be too far from here. However be prepared as it is not as wide as it is at the empire and covered in long grass. Therefore it is easy to miss and fall down. The path is part of a wider network that essentially encircles the entire empire, and connects most of the earldoms. The old entrance to the empire and what is left of the Mac castle leads off this network to the west. Wait, you mean you did not have to pass the foolish troll Balkany and I had to pass when entering the empire? Not when it was Mac guy ruled, no. What known information? May I inquire about unknown information instead? Seeming as you only possessed medieval grade technology, and were only an empire for around 40 years. How the fool did you make so many goddamn pathways and tracks? Us Mac guys are very good at forming paths like this. We are hard workers as well. We would have been much stronger and possibly not in this abysmal situation if our population wasn't so hard hit by our impractical reproductive cycle. In order to breed a female Mac guy has to make three of us males bone life forms. And since we all look the same, that's hard. Here it is, the Gorge of Eternal Peril. Does not look like the Gorge of Eternal Peril to me. It's a lot less wide here. Wide enough to jump over in a few hops. Balkany, grow as large as you possibly can and jump down the gorge. Hopefully you will be tall enough for us to climb on your head and you to take us across. Congrats of foolish relations. We can see a signpost. Shall we go over to it? I agree. It is a bit worn out and rotten. This area was sadly abandoned quite a while ago. Can you read it? Not really, Anonymous. I don't have a clue. Pissum of user? I am blind, you fool. Oh yeah. It says Earldom of Lisa, 1150 kilometers. Via Earldom of Newton, Earldom of Macintosh and Earldom of Wozniak. How well read. That is what we want. Which arrow did it say that on? The one to the right you fool. The other one points to where we just came from. Well then let's go that way. Cross this, this old brother. I would cross this little rock, Master. I'm, I'm not very good at this. Give me some, um, um, honey. Winnie the Pooh, the one who sabotaged the methane extractor and caused the PC guys to invade Maxi. Oh, brother, I was only trying to help. Was it you that stole the golden MacBook? I think that was the PC guys, but I can't remember. Only Seymour knows the buildup of events that lead to the invasion. However, I cannot for the fool of me communicate with such a primary protagonist. Whatever, what do you want? Honey? Oh, sodding soddery sod of sodomites and chipping sodbury. Look, 
We're looking for a carving. If you can give us a clue, we will take you with us. And at the end, you can have as much bloody honey as you will ever desire. Well, there is a honey tree right over there. It is just too slippery to climb up. I have been trying for ages, and that is why I've been so desperate for honey. It is not that far for you to get. Balkany, can you get the honey? As you wish. <laughs> Bees. You're all scared of some bee stings. Look at my hands and fees. I have had far more than that. Unfortunately we may have to flee. If you are so brave grab that bottle. It's by the bees and it looks interesting. So what does it say? Do I keep having to remind you of my severe lack of eyesight? Ballast, give it to me then. Is it useful? It appears to be some sort of riddle. It says, my uncle did some unpaid work to polish an arrow rich in quartz. A riddle indeed, if we can work out what that means. It should give us the first three words for me to put into my app and find another word. Unpaid work is volunteering, he did it so it is in the past. First word should be volunteered. Arrows are commonly used to symbolize direction. Finally a stone commonly polished that also happens to be rich in quartz is marble. That's three words. Winston Wallace said that the clues will always result in three words. So this clue is the three words of volunteered, direction, marble. I will input that into the app Winston Wallace told me about. I have it downloaded ready. Three words do lead to a place on Earth, but it's a dead area in northern Canada. What else could this be? Perhaps it could be in the present. Replace volunteered with volunteering. Let's check if the clue is volunteering. Direction. Marble. A little nowhere. What have we missed? What about pointer? Isn't that an arrow related direction related word? Shall we check if the clue is volunteering? Pointer Marvel. An excellent idea. Appears to show me a place called Green Valley, Arizona. Green Valley is her first descriptor then. Doesn't narrow things down much. Maxi almost certainly has loads of green valleys. This is why there are five clues you fool. Where's my honey? We don't have time for your bloody honey. Come on. Once we are done, you can have the sodding honey. But that tree had honey? Yes, that tiny tree, or what remains of it, had honey, and a swarm of bees. It is behind us now, let's go forwards. This looks familiar. How? This just seems like the extremely damaged home of the Earldom of Newton. I learned from some of your fellow Mac guys that they blew this place up after they had already blown up the PC guy's main castle. Made sure no PC guy could use it. 
The Mac and PC guy rivalry seems to be worse than I thought. Blowing up their own oldham castle. Wish I could be here all the time, but I would be hunted down and killed. I should be grateful I am still alive. If the PC guys had any sense they would have shot me on the spot like they did to the rest of my family and advisors. This place may hold our next clue. I suggest we enter. <laughs> Look who we have here. Mech guy 3135. Big and small. Retract your leggery friend, looks like you're next. Seymour told me that was ages ago. I thought you were gone for good. We are looking for some clues to help us find a carving. May you assist? Assist? <laughs> no way. Why should we assist? Because if you don't, I will knock you off, Maxi. You may be big for a man, but no one is bigger than big! I can be. And that's only half my abilities. Oh, okay. Come in then. I have this. When I moved to this castle, I found it here. A mysterious case. Do you want the case? Give me the case. No! I demand you to hand me the case. Never! So be it. No! No! How dare you do this to my friend? Oh no, you don't. Where is the case? It is at this wall. What do we do with the bodies of the fallen? Dillus, remove these fools at once. Shall I open the case? I agree. What rests inside? The second riddle, I think. It says, my uncle wore a helmet decoration to the 2010 general election. Well, a helmet decoration is known as a crest. And the 2010 general election was a vote. How the fool do you know about elections but not about Mac Eldams? I am from Earth, you know, and have only just discovered Maxime. So the words are crest and vote? Wait a second, that is only two words. It just seems to be crest and vote. Can you just input the two words? Not at all you fish. The app only works if you add three words. Oh sad. Let's reread the case. My uncle wore a helmet decoration to the 2010 general election. Only two clues. Are you sure this is one of the riddles? Most likely, as they seem to all start with my uncle. My uncle was a fool. So the third word must be in there somewhere. What about the result of the election? We should enter the victors of it. So you are suggesting I enter crest? Vote. Conservative? Worth a shot. Nope. Nothing of note. What month was the election held? May. For a non-human you are very knowledgeable when it comes to politics. I will try crest vote May. The app doesn't allow proper nouns, you foolish fools. That is useful to remember for future riddles. How about the fact the election resulted in a hung parliament with the conservatives and the liberal, liberated and Lipterdesk democrats? A hung parliament is quite rare and it is probably why this election was chosen over the countless others held in May or won by the conservative party. An excellent point. So the last word must be hung. Crest. Vote. Hung. appears to lead to a place called Boulder, Colorado. So what we have so far is a green valley full of boulders. Still doesn't narrow things down enough. We need to continue. Continue we shall.
Who would, would have thought, the Glob Glagab Glab's house, who would still be here? This place is ruined. When destroying some Robbie Rotten clones on my last adventure, this place unexpectedly blew up. It did however blast us all the way to where we wanted to go which was a journey of hundreds of kilometers so you can't complain. Yes we can. How can we find anyone in this wreckage? Using your ears. My eyes aren't so useful anymore, but my ears are extremely sharp. Looks like we don't need any eyes nor ears to find anyone. The Fourth Doctor and Romana 2. Interesting. How excellent we can use your TARDIS to travel down this foolish path quicker. I am abhorring this walking. We need to inquire about a potential clue first, you fool. Oh yes, you did not happen to have any mysterious riddles on you by any chance. Indeed we do. Where did you get this from? The very reason we are here is to search the Glob Glob Gab Galab's immense library. He has many books full of enchantments and useful information. This is one we located. Luckily it is not Bane of Aflopods 1. That's written. Not enchanted. There is a difference you fools. May I have the book? It reads, my uncle walked three feet down a marked route before losing all his credit card information. Well, three feet is the art, we all know that. How imperial, how non-metric, how lacking in less ines, how prime, how non-power of two-esque. I believe a marked route means a track. And he could have lost his credit card information due to a scam. How to pesk. So yard, track, scam is our next clue. Brings me to a place called Twin Falls, Idaho. That was quick. We are getting good at this. What we have so far seems to be a green valley full of boulders, with two waterfalls. Still doesn't ring a bell. Fourth Doctor, can you help us traverse this path faster? I suppose you can use the TARDIS to get down your path quickly. Great Scott, what was that? We have been hit. That can't be too much of an issue, right? This is a very sophisticated time machine. Look what's ahead. It's approaching fast. I can't see you, fool. It's the castle of the Earldom of Macintosh. A blast, it's starting to fall and I can't control this. We will soon crash land. Everyone, jump out. We all disagree. What do we do now? I got this. Oh dear, look at the TARDIS. What a large quantity of deaths this adventure has had so far. Most saddening indeed. Get off you fools. Who are you and why did you shoot us down? We are on a very important quest and your actions will cause us great delay. I'm Naomi, and you're the bitches that locked me up now, aren't ya? No, that was the PC guys. We are definitely not PC guys here. I don't care about who or what you are. I shot you down to get me off this hellish planet. You locked me up in now. Firstly, you shot us down so that means I can't trust you. 
Secondly, you still have your weapon charged, and thirdly, if we get you back to Earth you will expose us and this planet to the wrath of the human race. No way I will. I just want to leave this dump and forget about it. Why was I even taken here? I was only walking across a field. Well, it was your first mistake, wasn't it? Trespassing laws in that silly island you call the UK can't be that strict. I meant the fact that the field is a portal, but go on. And then I got locked in a castle by PC guys, and then the castle and I were blown away, and then I found and followed a tunnel, and then I realized it was blocked, and then I used my strength to blast away the debris, only for it to collapse even more, and then I followed this stupid railway, and then- Enough. We cannot afford to lose any more time. That castle the TARDIS crashed into looks like it could hold our next clue. And now we have lost our fast transportation. No thanks to you little Miss Naomi. I don't care about your precious fast transportation. I want to get back to Earth and I will not stop until I'm there. Get me there and don't enter that castle either. You can't stop me. Bumptony, disable this imbecile. Allow me. Ah! Easy Delis. No more unnecessary killing or we will be like the PC guys. And no one needed destruction either. The rifle would have been useful for defeating fools like big and small. You don't need any rifles when I am around. Forget it. Now let's enter what's left of this castle. It looks interesting. Probably the best idea. Is that a steam engine I hear? It's Thomas the Tank Engine. He appears to be stuck on a blocked railway, which seems to originate in a similar direction to where we came from. We should have used that to get here rather than walking and having to carry this tatty tot. I did not know this existed. Thomas the Tank Engine. What the fool, why are you here? After destroying the methane extractor, I was forced into a life of slavery, pulling food around for the PC guys. One day, I discovered a mysterious underground railway. I assumed it to be left by your fellow mech guys. However, seeing the confusion of mech guy 3135, it was likely PC guys who added it. It looked like it went through an underpass under the border fence. I was hoping it would become a way out of the empire that would bypass the troll and the bridge I cannot fit across. But as soon as I investigated, the tunnel collapsed. I emerged again soon after, and the railway continued, and I followed it down as far as this castle. The line goes further, but the ruins of this castle block the track. I've waited a long time for it to be cleared. It would be useful if you were to help. Help indeed, but first we need our own help. What do you want help with then? We require a riddle the solution to which would lead, along with the other riddles we have solved, and one more after to a place where the carving resides, which we need to prevent an alliance between the PC and Linux guy empires. The riddle would mean we are one step closer to defeating that evil PC guy empire that enslaved you for so long, and should come in the form of a mysterious sentence. Well, as you mentioned that to me, the entrance of this castle has an arch stone going over it with a load of nonsense carved on it. The carving? If it was the carving, we would have just wasted our time, you silly sod. The carvings in the cave, you imbecile. Oh yes, where is the carving that leads to the carving, then oh random train? Over the entrance to the largest room. Unfortunately, just now a TARDIS hit said entrance, and now it's a bit buried. Dillus, search those piles of rubble over there. The ones behind Thomas the Tank Engine. I believe this is the clue. You non-fool. Pass it to Anonymous. Ah! Careful, you fool. I might not be able to see you blasting and buggering around, but my toe certainly failed that. She lifted it fine, I should also be able to. I am friends with Lily, that is all you need to know, now read what it says. 
Who is Lily? Read the bloody text. You're the one who despises tangents. Okay, okay. It says, my uncle walked into a battle that was not on time with IO mail connector. What an odd uncle this person has. If you walked into battle, you probably marched. As an expert in computers, the IO is probably referring to some plug. And not on time is late. So the solution is therefore likely to be marched, late, plug. The little middle of nowhere in Argentina. Oh blast. Have you tried different variations of the word? Like late, later, latest? Try putting in marched later plug. Also nowhere, this time in Mexico. Oh sod. Do latest then instead. Oh Venezuela. Is it a word though? No. Oh blast. This is a challenging one indeed. You have tried altering lit. Forget that. Try altering March. March late plug. Worth a shot. A town called Appleton. Maxi lacks a town of apples. This doesn't make any sense. How foolish. Well try again then you fools. Is marches a word? It is indeed. Excellent. You should attempt marches. Latest plug. The middle of sod all nowhere. Indiana. How useless. We are out of word variations and combinations. Wait a minute. No we haven't. Try marches, but with late instead of later. Marches, late, plug leads to the Yellowstone National Park. A Yellowstone it is. Let's leave this taddy castle and move on. Jesus, that was a lengthy clue. That took you a while. Can you do my part of the deal then? Only if you will take us to the next clue. I want to continue anyway. Balcony, clear the debris away for him. That cleared the debris fast enough. Let's all board Thomas the tank engine and go to the next station. Oh blast, this railway goes off a cliff. Just our luck on this adventure. May you please stop. It appears that spending so long idle has rusted my brakes. Everyone jump off now. I don't want to jump. Get on with it or you will die. Another death. This quest is getting rather predictable. Too many tragic occurrences have occurred. Forget the train. We should find the next clue. I liked that bloody train. Now I face yet more walking on foot. All our methods of transport seem to keep blowing up. A massive shame indeed. Luckily, some of us are used to walking. Like me. Delis, can you assist? No, you fool. I am already carrying its system supplies. I'm not a walking stick. 
Look over there, a supernatural lion who could change sizes, and may I add, is carrying nothing, despite the fact he could easily carry all of us and our tot. Acceptable. I have no supplies so I can fight, but I will take the pathetic fool to the next clue. Where is the clue? I do not know, but I also do not know where the path to get there is. An excellent point. Due to the railway and path taking different routes, we are not at the main path. But that side path over there looks useful. Let's follow it. Pissum of user, what's on the sign? The arrow pointing southeast. It's very tall, like you. Do I need to remind you again? Even when I have already told you in countless instances. We have been traveling for many days, I can't remember everything. Even when I have already told you in countless instances. Oh for blast sake allow me. What does it say? What does it say? Earldom of Lisa, 330 kilometers. We are close. The last clue awaits. Follow the sign. Looks like we have discovered a supply shed from one of the earldoms. How in disrepair. This looks useful. We should proceed to investigate. Oh no, Bish and Bunga. What are you doing here? We've all been stuck on Maxi for ages. This is our home now. Where is Ken and Feely? Kion turned evil and was destroyed and I think Fooly joined the PC guys. How unfit and how neutral. What fools. I've been stuck here since I helped you find Linux guy 5313. I got lost after treating the lion's heart stone. And I tried to follow their tracks to try and rescue them. I traveled on earth for far too long. I went through some portal and walked many many more days before finding them here. We're all very lost and want to get back to Earth. We are on a quest which concludes with the destruction of both the PC and Linux guys. If you assist, we will take you back to Earth as we know the way. Excellent. What do you need help with? We are looking for the last riddle that will describe the location of a carving. When the PC guys see said carving they will think different of the Linux guys. Do you have anything with something long and complex written on it? No! You are an annoying fool. Look then. I can try and have a look. Oh no, this place is too small to fly around. Get rid of it then. It's our home. It won't be after we help you. Can we remove the study shack? Go on, be unbelievable. Rip my house, I will have another look. I see a large board with something on it, and it was under the floor, how well hidden. Dillus, get the board. UFO-L. The board reads your uncle walked on two fools at once because his wife was attacking his car wheels due to an incident with sending the wrong message. What a lengthy riddle. Lengthy is good, it gives us more information. Indeed, 
If you walk on two things surely you are straddling. If his wife was attacking the tire she was probably bursting it, meaning he had to straddle the fools. And if he sent the wrong message he was probably texting. What an archaic method of communication. Straddling, bursting, texting it is. Oh massive dead desert in Dipman land. You mean Australia? Is it a word though? It's nothing. How Australian? Get rid of the ink from straddling. Is it a place called Fairview, Missouri? Excellent. Our final clue. It's getting late. We should find a place to set camp for the night and discuss where the carving is. After solving all the riddles, the description is what? A green valley, with boulders, two waterfalls, some yellow stones and a nice view. I still have absolutely no idea where they could be. Mac I 3135, do you have any idea? I am unsure. Nowhere I am aware of matches all five clues perfectly. Unfortunate. We should think through this carefully. I agree. We can begin with the overall terrain. What do you think yellow stones refer to? Are you sure that the yellow stone part doesn't refer to the area as a whole instead of some yellow stones? That would indeed be a possibility. What commonly found yellow stones exist? What about sandstone? I agree. That is indeed naturally orange or yellow and is fairly abundant. So should we attempt to find a desert? In fact not. Sandstone is commonly found outside of deserts. And the Green Valley part would seem to indicate that the area is relatively fertile. I don't think there are any explored sandstone formations on Maxi, so that's another dead end. Forget Yellowstones. What other clues do we have regarding the biome and terrain of the area around the carving? The mention of a valley, two waterfalls, and an excellent view seems to indicate a mountainous area. We should probably head north to the Sunrise Mountains. Actually, if we discard the yellow stones, I think there is a place to the southeast that matches the other clues. What place? I have heard of a valley with a majestic view and two waterfalls that should be located in a different mountain range to Sunrise Mountains. Are you sure? Sadly I am unsure about the credibility of this information, as I have never visited such a place, and as I said there are no yellow stones there, individual or multiple, all of them are grey, how dull. Anything else? The other issue is that the most important feature of the valley is two emerald green tributaries. Surely that should have been a clue? So there are no yellow stones, but there are green rivers? Correct. Green river was not a clue. What was the riddle which we concluded was Yellowstone? Did anyone make any notes? I did. It said, your uncle walked into a battle that was not on time with IO mail connector. And we said it was what? Mac guy 3135? I put in marches, late, plug. It's not the middle of the park itself, unlike the other clues, which were close to the center of the locations. It appears we may have got a clue wrong. Put in marches, layer, plug, just to be sure. We really want something to do with green rivers. Leads to a place called Green River, which would fit the valley I have heard of, right in the center as well. So the location of the carving is a green valley, 
with boulders, two waterfalls, green rivers and a nice view. Let us travel to that in the morning, otherwise this quest will go on for bloody ever. The clues match up to Mackay's Valley Theory so the carving is likely at that place if it exists. Here it is, a green valley with a lot of boulders, two small waterfalls, a green river, and a nice view. So we have ended up in the right place. How excellent, that was a foolishly lengthy journey of many days. We literally had to go the distance we did before just to get here. Shouldn't we be attempting to locate a cave? I agree. Oh no, will you please look for the entrance of a cave? I have located an entrance to a cave at the base of the valley. How excellent. The carving will most likely be in there. Let's go down there and look. This should be it. How epic. I agree. Finally the great carving has been located. What does it say exactly? Some nonsense. What nonsense? Medaja sebem go redam eretiporp serov fardner gap med dem ajebramus eki nak iv. Eki ivory ted. Ekris nepo rayed. Renevenid eki reeneris zunal. How nonsensical. Xinil is the reverse of Lennox. Perhaps the carving could be written with the letters in reverse order? The text, if reversed, reads, Linux Firina Ike Dine Vena, Der Open Source, Dead of Ike, Vegan Ike Samabej Med Dem Pagrunda Fors Propertia Made Rogmar Besedja Dem. How still nonsensical. The term, open source, is easily recognizable, meaning the carving is probably indeed reversed, and probably translated to some language, as a cipher would surely render the term, open source, unrecognizable. Looks like a language, to me too, of which I sadly lack understanding of. Well it will not have been coded like the clues to get here were, as otherwise Linux and open source would have been affected too, it must be a language used on earth as Linux and open source are recognized names here on earth and will therefore be the same across languages. They relate to the topic of the carving too, it was named the legendary carving of Linux after all. It does indeed seem unfortunately no one here knows which language it is, however. Mo Blast, since the PC guys speak English, will this mean that they will be unable to read the carving? 
and therefore act on it? Well, since it was written by a PC guy, this PC guy may have known a language used to write it, and can therefore translate it back. However, I fear as he made everyone forget its location, he may have also made everyone forget how to decipher the thing, including himself. If we cannot decipher the carving, we should still deliver it. How do we get it out of the wall? Balkany, are you able to remove this carving in one piece? I agree. Let's go back to the inner fence and meet the remainder of our group. We have been gone many days and they will be wondering if we have perished.